Hi winners! Guys, welcome to Terry's Tips. Get a notebook, get a pen because today I'm going to help you get some money for your business. Guys, today we're going to talk about five steps to get between $100,000 y'all up to $5 million for your business. Yes guys, and this is even if you're a startup. And guys, I'm going to jump right in with the gems because a startup can technically be a business that has been um, kind of informed anywhere between one year and three years and one year and five years, depending on the creditor's definition of a new business, okay? And so for my newbies, real quick, hello, my name is Terry. Guys, this is a wealth building channel. I talk specifically how to leverage your personal and business credit to build legacy, to get the big money, to have the lifestyle that you desire, guys, to make sure you like share and subscribe and let's jump right in so first what am i talking about how can you get this money guys this is through a s b i c write it down that stands for small business investment company guys this is private money okay and so a lot of times when you talk about funding for a new business funding for a startup you'll hear family and friends and business credit and personal credit and you'll hear like angel investors and private money and venture capitalists and some of you guys are like I don't know what private money means. I don't know where to get it. Today, I'm going to help you out. SBIC. So these are investment companies that specifically specialize in funding new businesses, new entrepreneurs, new business owners. Okay, guys, I want to give you five steps. Now, when they fund your business, honestly, it could be anywhere between $100,000 up to $5 million. Some even go up to $10 million, okay? And so when they invest in your business, it's not free money, guys, okay? So you're either going to pay them back three ways. Write it down, y'all. It's either going to be through debt, it's going to be through equity, or a combination of both. So this means if you're a new business owner and you get funding through a SBIC, Small Business Investment Company, I'm going to keep on saying it so you guys can kind of understand that it's very, very real and this can help change some of your lives, like not now, like right now. Guys, what they'll do is let's say they give you, you know, a $500,000 loan. Well, that's what it is, a loan. So when your investment company gives you money and they're giving it to you through debt, that means they're giving you a $500,000 loan and you have to pay that loan back. Now, if they give it to you, um, give it to you through equity, guys, that means it's not necessarily a loan. They're looking for a share of your company. Think about like a, a Shark Tank type thing, where the, the where the business says, you know, this is a great business idea. We like what you're doing. We will fund your business in exchange for having part ownership of your company. Or some SBICs, small business investment companies. Okay, some of them will do a combination of both, where they'll be like, well, we'll give you $500,000 as a loan, and we'll give you, you know, we want a certain amount of shares of your company. So it's going to be through three things either debt, through equity, or through a combination of both. So guys, in general, the percentage rate is anywhere between like nine and 15%. That's not bad at all, guys. Another kind of nugget right here is usually the repayment term is about like three years, depending on what the actual agreement is. And now I'm gonna give you five steps, guys. And I wrote them down, because I wanna simplify this for you. And guys, like many of you have great business ideas and you're underwater, you don't know where to go, guys, do your research. Like I'm giving you some tips right here. I'm going to tell you where to actually go to get this money. Not only is it real, it's very, very real. And as long as you do a couple of things that kind of look good on paper and you do your research and actually get matched up with the right investment company, this can equal like some like six and seven figures for you guys. Like, like literally by the end of the year, like super fast. So step number one is you have to be a U.S. based business and you have to be a small business. Guys, small business is not actually that small. Like small business is anywhere, depending on the actual definition, like 500 employees and under and 300 employees and under. Again, sometimes the creditors have a little bit of a different definition of on their own, but 300, like I don't know, like a lot of 300 people, that's actually pretty, pretty big. So many of you, the majority of you, probably like 99.9% .9 of you actually qualify as a small business. Okay, now the second step, guys, is fundability and credibility. You cannot go to an investment company and say, fund my business, and you have no website, you have no duns, you have no phone number. Guys, you have to put a little bit of sweat equity, skin in the game on your own. 
guys, I will go back in the link uh, um, in the description of the video. I'll add my video that's 10 steps to, um, to set up your business correctly and also my 10 steps to build business credit. Guys, I have an entire business credit building playlist that is free. Your only investment is your time, guys. Go to the playlist, watch the videos, make a list of action items, and execute. You need to do a couple of things so they know that this is a legitimate business. Nobody wants to give you $500 if you haven't done a couple of things on your own. So you need a legitimate business. They want to know that it's not a hobby. You're looking to actually grow this, right? Because you have to be able to pay it back. Step number three, guys, is you need a business plan. You need a business plan. If you don't know how to write a business plan, ask somebody to help you. Hire somebody to help you. Get somebody on Fiverr. Get an intern. Like there's a million ways, but get it done because these investment companies, guys, they know that you're new business owners, new entrepreneurs. They know that you may be startups, so you don't necessarily have all the money or all the credit yet. They're, they are aware of this, right? But you need to have a plan. You need to have done your research. So you need a solid business plan to show the investors, hey, this is my business. This is my idea. This is what I want to do. And this is my actual plan. This is the market research. This is how I plan on playing it back. You know, they want to know that you have actually mapped this out. Okay, guys. The next thing, um, step number four, so mind, let me recap. Step number one, U.S. business, small business. Step number two, fundability and credibility. Guys, also, nugget right here is if you need help, I'll put the link in the description. Guys, you can invest in a jumpstart strategy session with me directly or a board certified credit consultant on my team, and we will help you with some of these items. It's one hour with an expert, guys, and we will help you kind of map out what you need to specifically do for your business. So go ahead and schedule that if you need some additional help. All right, so US business, small business, step number one. Number two was fundability and credibility. Number three was have a business plan. Now, number four is you need to do your research. You need to be also in an approved industry based on the investment company, meaning one investment company may, um, may fund re, um, real estate, one may not. Wait, one may fund, you know, transportation, um, one may not. Sorry, I'm like super tongue tied. I'm trying to get this video done like right now. Okay, so guys, so like, so do your research and make sure that your actual industry, your actual company is an approved industry with the SBIC that you're actually trying to apply with. Guys, when you find, I'm going to tell you in the next step, I want to tell you how to find some of these, but literally go on their website. Look at what they're looking for. Look at what their requirements are. When you know, when you're strategic and you know what they're looking for, then all you have to do is position yourself to meet those requirements because that's step number five. Guys, use the SBA investment capital tool. Guys, I don't know why y'all don't know about this. That's why I'm here to help you. Make sure you share this video, guys, because literally the SBA, they have an investment capital tool. You can literally click on it. You can go to your state and you can find SBICs in your state. Sometimes there's three, sometimes there's five, sometimes there's 10, and you can literally make a list of them and start going to their websites and see what they actually need. Guys, a lot of people are not getting this money just because they don't know what's even available and they're not doing their research. But not y'all wealth warriors, right? Because I'm telling you how to do it right now. Now, guess what? The SBA, they don't actually fund the small businesses, but the SBA actually gives some money to the investment capital companies. And then the investment capital companies give the money to you. So it is like guaranteed to cure money. This is why I say use the SBA investment tool. Guess what I'm going to do for y'all? I'm going to even go back depending on when you're watching this video because I have a meeting like right now, okay? Um, I will go back in the link um, in the description, guys, and I will add the link for the SBA investment tool. So, guys, then all you're going to do is do your research, find an investment company, um, investment capital company in your um, state, in your industry, and apply. And what I want to say right here, guys, is let's say you apply and you get a no. Guys, get the feedback. Listen to what they say, whether they say no, whether they say yes, whatever it is. Do a couple of adjustments and apply again or apply with a different company, right? But you have to have some skin in the game and anything worth having is worth working hard for. So if you're, if you're like, you know, this is going to take some time, okay, and it takes some time and then you get $100,000, $500,000 and you change your whole life, listen, then it's worth it, okay, guys? So five steps to get some money for your business, anywhere from 100,000 up to $5 million, guys. I laid it out. I will go back and add um, the links in, in the description for the SBA investment tool and also for my videos that are about fundability and credibility. And guys, and for my nugget, 
Okay, guys, listen, I just want you to start right now. Like, there's never going to be a perfect time. What are you waiting for? If there's one thing that COVID-19, this, this the time frame has taught us, is that you're not promised tomorrow. So you need to be able to fight through, you know, health issues, medical issues, you know, um, financial issues, breakups, like, you know, whatever it is you're going through right now, it's not going to go away because you want to start a business. You want to have legacy. You want to retire yourself. If anything, a lot of times, it gets a little bit worse when you start working towards your goals. So my advice to you is make a decision about success. Make a decision about getting started right now and get started. Do what you can. Do something every single day towards your dreams, towards your business, and watch how it will grow. Faith without works is dead. You have to do the work. Got it, got it, good, y'all. So I hope that was helpful. Have a super amazing day on purpose.